Anna? Let me back in as soon as the video is over. What do you want with the resonance research? Oh, oh. The fuck? Answer the question. What's your plan, detective? You hit me, you asshole! And I'll do it again if you don't start answering questions. So, what is the plan, detective? What do you want with the resonance devices? I came here to destroy them, same as you. Is it money? Selling them off to the highest bidder? If I cared about money, do you think I would have become a cop? Are you a terrorist? Stop it. My head hurts too much to laugh at your cat piss detective work. Then explain that note. What note? Last night, in the baseball field, you dropped a note. The reporter is following you. Get rid of him. Was that from your boss? Worried I'd figure it all out? If I were a bad guy, you figuring things out would be the least of my worries. Check my shirt breast pocket, unless that's too complicated for you. It's the letter I dropped. You didn't read all of it. It's from a friend of mine, five years ago. A reporter followed him around for a while, saying it was for some bullshit day in the life of a policeman story. Turned out it was for an expose unceremoniously outed the poor bastard without warning or permission. Ruined his career. No commendations, no promotion, no nothing. You know the way things are these days. No one wanted him on their squad. He'd been a high flyer too. That's why he went along with the story. He quit one day. Vanished. Think he's up north somewhere. I still keep it close. He was a good... a good friend. So, you're... Maybe you didn't understand the moral of my story, Raymond. It's no one's damn business but my own. Now, untie me? One thing, uh... This doesn't change anything. That letter wasn't the only unexplained note we've come across. Explain the note from Dr. Morales with your name on it. Why would he call you out by name? I don't know. Maybe he didn't. Maybe it was planted. So your argument is that someone went out of his way to set you up? Out of his way. For what purpose? Out of his way. I'm waiting. Out of his way. That's it. What? Why didn't I see this before? Someone did go out of his way. Far out of his way. What do you mean? Come on, Jimmy Olsen. Connect the dots. Figure out the story. Anna, let me in. We can make this choice together. Ed told me that he and Anna met on the subway on their ways to work. That seems too much of a coincidence. Getting warmer. You don't have to do it alone. We can't destroy this technology. Humanity can use it. We can fulfill there our potential. There must be a clue on the map here. Right. There's no way Ed would be riding the same subway as Anna in the mornings unless... Unless he was going out of his way. To insinuate himself into the life of the only person who could open the vault other than Dr. Morales. Ray, untie me. Anna, please, open the bars. No, stop! Anna! The shooting scene. You shot her! Ray, close the door. And that's it. I can't believe she's... This is your fault. My fault? You knocked me out, tied me up. I could have done something. God damn it, he used my gun. Well, maybe if you hadn't been acting so shady to me, I wouldn't have had to... I'm gonna kill you right after I kill Ed. No one's killing anybody. Not again. Why are they saying you blew up that lab, Bennett? What? And why are they saying you killed a girl?
Who is saying these things? The chief. We were in the middle of a briefing, business as usual. The chief gets a phone call and suddenly she's putting a bounty on your head. You and your journalist pal. He's no pal of mine. And this is bullshit. Somebody must be pulling the chief's strings. A girl? They said you killed the science guy's niece to keep her quiet about you blowing up the lab. How did they find out so fast? So it's true? Of course not. But something weird is definitely going on here. How'd you find us? I tracked Mr. Abbott's cell phone. But I haven't called anyone. I can track it as long as it has that SIM card in it. Reg, you know I didn't do those things. Tell me, how do I know that? Reg, when that lab blew up, I was with you. We were on that stakeout all night, shooting the shit. You know I couldn't have had anything to do with it. I know, but I don't understand. It's this case. The lab, the vault. I don't have time to tell the whole story now. But it ends with Morales' assistant, Ed, killing Anna Castellanos and stealing a new super weapon called Resonance. Super weapon? We've got to find Ed, and we've got to do it fast. It's bad, Reg. Help us. I got orders. Remember what I said the other day? Sometimes you gotta make your own orders. <sighs> I can cover your tracks for a while, but the Chief's got everyone out looking for you. What's with this Chief? She's been acting weird ever since she started trying to keep Bennett and me from staking out that post office in Edgetown. That stakeout is somehow connected to this resident stuff. How's that? That shifty-eyed guy we saw in the stakeout was also after Resonance. Shifty-eyed guy? Yeah, the guy who stole Tortoise's files on the vault. The guy in the security cam picture? Yeah. That's no coincidence. No. I followed it up, though, and I just found some Oriental lady. Oriental is not... She gave me a paper swan. An origami crane? Whatever. Well, then you're going back there. Why is that? Because just before the Chief sent me out looking for you, I found an origami crane on my desk. I had no clue where it came from or why it was there, but now... I'll keep the Chief off your backs. You two get over to Edgetown. Wait a minute, who's giving the orders around here? The one of us who isn't a wanted man. One more thing. Mr. Abbott, you keep that fancy phone around, you won't make it half an hour. Ditch your SIM card and use mine. They won't be looking for it. Thanks. Call me if you need help. Reg. You're welcome. We stick together, got it? Is this gonna be a buddy cup thing now? Yeah, you're the naive, annoying one. The, uh, uh the game...